Hi guys, Glenn Samuel from Sniper Photography. Look, just recently I was lucky enough to pick up a new Benro tripod and this is the uh, carbon fibre tripod from, well one of the carbon fibre tripods from Benro. It's the Rhino series, it's the FRHN34C. I have to say this thing is an absolute beast. It has 34.6 millimetre diameter tubing um, virtually all the way through. There's three sections, uh, they're twist locks, uh, which I don't mind. It's total 100% carbon fibre, but here's the thing. It's very, very light, and being carbon fibre, it's very strong. But one good thing about this, um, it has a 20 kilo payload. I mean, this thing's an absolute monster of a tripod. I mean, seriously, uh, I use big, heavy digital SLRs, always have and always will. So I need a tripod that's going to take that weight, and especially if you're in waterfalls or near beaches where everything's moving around and hitting the tripod, you need a tripod like this. But it is very, very light. Now, Benro claim this to be a travel tripod. Quite frankly, I don't think it is because it's just too big. Um, not that it's heavy, it's just it's a big tripod. Uh, and as I said, with a 20 kilo payload, it, it takes big cameras. So, you know, if you're shooting with one of the mirrorless cameras, one of the smaller body cameras like a Sony or a Fuji, this is overkill for you. You wouldn't um, you wouldn't buy one of these seriously. You'd probably spend three to five, maybe six hundred dollars on a tripod. This particular tripod retails for just over nine hundred dollars. I mean, it's an, as I said, it's an absolute boost of a tripod. It extends to one point eight seven meters. Um, it does have a centre column, which I don't particularly like. However. With this style of tripod and the strength that it has, the centre column doesn't really worry you. I, I will use it if I have to, if I have to get up high um, for a different perspective. I mean, it's got the Benro VX30 um, uh, ball head on it, which is fantastic. Uh, everything just works so well on it. And the one good thing about it is the twist locks, well, they're, they're about 40 millimetres, which is <laughs> like that. It's an absolute beast, this tripod. It's a Benro Rhino FRHN34C. I'm reading it off one of the legs here with the Benro VX30 um, ball head. As I said here, retails for about close to $900. Um, you could probably get it cheaper online, but um, that's what it, it's basically what it cost me. And basically, it's beautiful to look at too. It's got the... Uh, the carbon fibre pattern all the way through, but it's like when you buy something that's really, really good and looks really nice, that you don't really want to use it <laughs> or get it dirty or get it scratched, but that's just not the name of the game here. Um, it's just a, a well-presented, well-made piece of kit, and boy, yeah, you are paying for it, as I said, around about $900, but um, it's an absolute boost of a tripod, and I, uh, I'll be putting it through its paces very shortly. Now, um, with this um, particular tripod, one of the reasons why I went into carbon fibre, one is because of the strength, two is because in winter time the aluminium tripods, tripods are very cold to handle where carbon fibre isn't. So if you're in a cold climate like I will be in the next couple of months here in the mountains, when I touch this tripod it's not going to freeze my hand uh, because the carbon fibre just doesn't react to the cold where the aluminium tripods do. Um, but as I said, if you want to spend the extra money, uh, go ahead, but it all depends on what camera gear you're using. As I said, I use heavy um, digital SLRs with big heavy lenses, and I needed a tripod that will take the weight. Um, if you're shooting with something lighter, such as a mirrorless Sony or Fuji or something like that, uh, or even the small Canons and Nikons now, this is probably a bit overkill for you. But if you want a boost of a tripod and you can, you've got the money, this thing will fit the bill perfectly. So, um, yeah, I'll be giving it a workout very, very shortly. Um, but as I said, Benro make good quality gear and match with the Benro VX30 ball head, not a problem. There are a few other features like, you know, for panning, um, if you're going to stitch any images, um, a typical ball head design, as you can see. It's basically very, very similar to all good ball heads. But once again, it's very light, but very strong. And as I said, a 20 kilo payload, it's just an absolute beast of a tripod. Um, and the legs are so, just so thick, 
that um, well, are nearly what 30 or well, nearly 35 millimeters in diameter. So as you can appreciate, it's a big, um, it's a big tripod. This so it's the Benro Rhino FRHN 34C. So if you're after a good tripod and you um, can afford it, have a look at the Rhino uh, Benro range. They're absolutely outstanding, and the craftsmanship in this um, is just superb. I liken it to either the Ferrari or Porsche of tripods. I mean, it's so well put together. Um, it's just, and it's just so beautiful to look at. Um, but other than that, that's it with the new Benro tripod. Um, that's it for another episode of Sniper Photography. I'm going in, it's dinner time now. So as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends, but most of all, you keep smiling, keep shooting, and bye for now.